Hippos, have you ever built a sand castle at the beach? Well, these children are building lots and lots of sand castles at the beach. Let's see what kinds they make. Super Sand Castle Saturday. It was a hot and sunny Saturday. A super day for a sandcastle contest. Okay, everybody, shouted Larry the lifeguard. You need to finish building your castles before the tide comes in. The tide is when the water comes up closer to you from the ocean. It just keeps rolling closer and closer. And if you build a sandcastle near the edge of the water, the tide will come and just wash it all away. So Larry says you have to finish before the tide comes. Today, I'm giving out prizes for the tallest tower, the deepest moat, and the longest wall. Ready? Go! Larry blew his whistle. Juan, Sarah, and Laura couldn't wait to get started. They filled their pails and got right to work. Sarah wanted to win the prize for the tallest tower. She started building up, up, up. But Juan's tower was getting tall too. I'll bet my tower is taller than yours said Juan. Let's use our shovels to measure them. Great idea, agreed Sarah. My tower is three shovels tall, said Sarah. See, they lined up the shovels, up, 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 and hers reaches the top of three shovels. Mine is only two shovels tall, said Juan, sadly. But look at these shovels. Do you notice anything about the shovels? It looks like one shovel is bigger than the other. Maybe they should use the same shovel to measure both their sand castles. Then Juan tried to dig the deepest moat. Nearby, Laura was digging a deep moat, too. Let's see whose moat is deeper, said Laura. Our shovels are too big, so let's use our spoons to measure. Okay, said Juan. But look at the spoons they're using. Laura's spoon is big, but Juan has small spoons. They should use the same spoon to measure their moats. Juan shouted, my moat is two spoons deep. Mine is a little more than one spoon deep, moaned Laura. Hurry up, you guys, Larry called. The tide's coming in fast. Laura, called Sarah, I just finished my wall. Let's see whose is longest. It will be easy to measure if we use our feet. They quickly walked heel to toe along their walls. Five steps long, Laura shouted. All right. Sorry, said Sarah. Mine is seven steps long. I win. Larry blew his whistle again. All right, everyone, he shouted. Time to see who won. Larry measured and measured and measured some more. What is Larry the lifeguard using to measure? 
he has a tape measure, which is sort of like a ruler. And if he uses the same tape measure to measure everybody's tall tower and long walls and deep moats, he'll have a better idea of whose is actually the biggest. Juan has the tallest tower, announced Larry. Sarah's is 44 inches, Juan's is 48, and Laura's is 40. But why, Larry? Sarah asked. My tower was three shovels high, and Juan's was only two. Your tower was more shovels high, Larry explained, but your shovel is shorter than Juan's. They weren't getting correct measurements by using different things. They should have measured just like Larry did, using the same way to measure. Laura has the deepest moat, said Larry. Juan's is 12 inches, Laura's is 15, Sarah's is 10. Juan's moat measured more spoons deep than Laura's, but his spoon is shorter than Laura's. With a shorter spoon, he'll get more spoons in the moat, which makes it seem like his is deeper, but it wasn't. And Laura has longer feet, but her five-step wall still didn't beat Sarah's seven-step one. So Sarah has the longest wall. Laura's is 30, Sarah's is 35, Juan's was 24. Spoons and shovels and people's feet can all be different sizes, said Larry, but an inch is always an inch. And that is the end of the story. You can use anything you want to measure. You could use a spoon, you could use your foot, but if you're measuring using your foot to measure two different things, make sure you're using the same foot. Don't use your foot for one thing, mom's foot for another thing, dad's foot for another thing. Use the same foot for all of it and you'll get a good measurement. Well, can you go out there and measure hippos? See you later.